Cardano up 100% in 2023 already? In a sense, yes, but not just in price, in a few other metrics. Now, I know you probably clicked on this video thinking that you missed that Cardano went up 100% in the last month. And to be honest, it almost did. It went from 26 cents all the way to 40 cents, and that is nearly a 2x. And to be honest, there's also a few other metrics that went up and that are over or near 100% up, and that includes Cardano's total value locked. What we're coming to talk about today and then tell you about how it happened, what happened, and what's happening next in relation to this value, as it is pretty significant. We can see here the USD all time high for Cardano's total value locked is $426. This is also at a price point where ADA was much, much higher than it is today. But in 2023, we have went from on January 1st, $64 million worth of total value locked to now $127 million. So pretty much 100% TVL in the month of January to February 3rd. So in 2023, Cardano is literally up 100% in TVL. Now, so far, the year of 2023 has been a bull uh trap or bull market kind of hint that things are going up things are good i don't know if it's going to continue i don't know if it's going to drop but no one knows these things but right now cardano is doing very well in not only price appreciation in 2023 but also ada coming into the ecosystem as when we sort by ada instead of usd you can also see here that at the start of 2023 we had around 263 million ada in the ecosystem and now we have around 269 million ADA in the ecosystem. Sorry, to the right, 318 million, much different. I was kind of confused there for a sec. So a lot more in the ecosystem, right? A ton more, actually. Um, not 100 million more, but enough, over 50 million more, which is pretty exciting. Uh, and this is due to two main things, which I'm gonna cover now. And if we scroll down here, you can see um, that not only is MinSwap, Ring Riders, and other DEXs and lending platforms up significantly in one month, 90% on Wingriders, 46% on MinSwap, 70% um, on Indigo, which is a big uh, platform that has grown a lot in the past month with the deployment of a new synthetic for Ethereum, but also two main things, Jed Stablecoin launching in the past week, and also on top of that, we have seen Liquid launch uh, yesterday, which was massive, and this TVL has been growing pretty rapidly ever since. I went over on the channel the other opportunities that have launched already in 2023 from Optum Finance bonds to indigo protocol synthetic assets but i do want to cover the latest and the greatest right now on cardano DeFi, and what is causing a lot of this upwards momentum not maybe in the price of ada because who knows what's going to cause that and what's going to up the demand for that as liquidity on cardano DeFi is still quite low but the tvl in general and that is this type of tap right here liquid lending and borrowing right now you can see at the top i have a 3.9 percent apy it just changed by 0.3 percent which is quite a lot and the last night when i went to bed this is that one percent apy so there is becoming a lot more demand for people who want to borrow ada um, against their collateral or against their ADA. And this is only beginning of a lending and borrowing market that suppliers can prosper in and earn extra APY in. Keep in mind though, there are some warnings to this. This APY, it went from 1% to 3% overnight, nearly 4%. And then also the API, APY for borrowers went up quite a lot. So if you're borrowing or you're lending, the APYs are volatile, especially because the platform just launched. Yes, the smart contract is audited, but also I would advise you being safe and just, you know, sticking with staking your ADA also to stake pools is a pretty good APY of around 3.5%. You can do that with a jack stake pool or really any stake pool that's single operator I would recommend. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of ways to get yield. But Liquid right now has a great opportunity for some high APY um, with lower risk. And you can supply ADA and get not only this APY, but you're also getting the staking on top that is the smart contract stake with stake pools so probably over five percent apy uh, well over at the moment which this could change drastically quickly uh for people lending or sorry people supplying to the lenders on this protocol now as you saw on DeFi llama the tvl tracking number five is jed stablecoin with nearly 12 million dollars in tvl already it launched uh I believe three and a half or four days ago and you can see here in the reserves 11 or nearly 12 million jed which is a stable coin for a dollar uh, so kind of backs up well to over at this right here 
this is all TVL that's came in from people minting the reserve coin uh, to keep Jed pegged and also people minting Jed. So this is great. Two large dApps that have launched. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Liquid specifically if you want to know more about this. But keep in mind that this is only ADA and ADA as there's going to be other native tokens that you can use to borrow and supply on here. There will be a lot more opportunities in Cardano's DeFi markets as in you can short and long with a lot more ease. In short though, Cardano is up drastically in price and also TVL over the last month. It is pretty awesome to see things that are launching and more opportunities coming to people in Cardano DeFi as the liquidity has been pretty low for a long time now in DeFi scene over here on Cardano, but now it has been growing a lot, not only just from NFTs and all the other stuff, but people who are interested in making money or using the financial tooling that is being built here on Cardano. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be doing more videos on Liquid tomorrow specifically, and also more videos on Cardano every single day. So make sure you subscribe to see those. Peace.